Breaking news. Borono residents begin protests over blaspheming as Adeboye postponed Sokoto crusade. Hello, my wonderful people. These people are beginning to take this out of context. If a cock lay an egg now, it is blaspheming. If, for instance, you like a lady, okay, and you have been talking to her, she's been busy with her, I will get you. You call a group of friends and you put a, put a word on her to say, yes, she blasphemed. Did she? Yes. Did you hear it? Yes. And they go over to her and begin to carry out all forms of atrocity. Where did you see? What, what is your evidences? Well, we all know of what happened to our very own sister, um, you know, Deborah, and um, how things have been. You know, thank God that um, uh, one of the, pro, one of, one of the uh, you know, apostle in in Port Harcourt have decided to relocate the family and to help them and assist the children to go back to school, assist the father to get a job and, you know, give them accommodation and what have you. So, I mean, thank God in that regards and that light of some of the things that have been ongoing with regards to some of the things happening now. Baranu residents begin protest over blasphemy. Baranu State Police Command has arrested three persons during the protest over a blasphemous statement made against Prophet Muhammad by one Naomi Goni on her Facebook account. Borono State's Police Command has arrested three persons during the protests over the blasphemous statement made against Prophet Muhammad by one Naomi Goni on her Facebook account. Goni has ac was accused of making statements why reacting to the killings of Deborah Samuel, a 200 level student in a 200 level student in Shewishagari College of Education, Sokoto, who in Sokoto, who was leashed over blasphemy. The Commissioner of Police, Abdul Oman, has disclosed this on Monday during a press briefing on the situation of the police headquarters in Meduguri said the suspect we arrested with something like fuel inside a jerry can. We cannot allow lawlessness to break into our society. They said she said it on her Facebook account but cannot pick out exactly what she has done. She has retrieved the statement saying she never made such statement as her phone has been her phone has been stolen for over a long period now and has not been with her. And so the statement being made of her is not credited to her because she never have the phone and she has not posted anything on Facebook for some time now. However, these persons have taken laws into their hands wanting to go and burn her but were apprehended by the police. The Meduguri police has already arrested three persons in connection to wanting to commit violence and to destroy what exactly the peace is in the state currently now ongoing. So this is what is happening. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Some persons just picked on one Naomi. They said she made a statement on her Facebook account. Is there not what we call freedom of expression? You know, freedom people are able to speak and to say what they want to do and how they want to do it. You know, in case you are wondering as well, in, in, the Redeem was supposed to be having a crusade in Sokoto. And as a result of what has happened to Deborah, uh, Pastor Ia Deborah has also postponed that so that there can be peace you know, so that there can be peace. This is this is so unfair. And they want to carry out this on this unholy act as well, you know, in 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 another state. This is these are terrible set of people. They cannot you know put a finger to what she has done, but they are going around maybe somebody who does not like her is trying to instigate, you know, her instigate people against her. What a country. Lawlessness all over the place. These are terrible things ongoing. And why nobody must fold their arms and allow this wickedness to continue to happen? You see, we must speak out against this evil ongoing right now. Every one of us must speak out against it. So at the end of the day, we are better people.
we cannot allow those who do not mean us well to continue you know to detect before you know it now this is not curtailed this is not stopped and the government that is supposed to be speaking do not say anything it's going to get out of hand and before you know it some persons will take it as a you know as a settlement score for their for their selfish interest and self and everything you know so please my people let's not uh, keep quiet and allow these things to go on let's speak out and condemn evil I mean, this has become a new uh, normal for wickedness ongoing. This is how the whole Afghanistan thing started. And, you know, um, the U.S. came in and after some years, they had to leave, see, leave, see how things have deteriorated. And in case you are wondering, look at, for instance, President Mohammed Buhari. Sincerely speaking, where does his interest lie? Do you know that Buhari gave $1 million to Afghanistan recently? why ASU is on strike and people are looking for, you know, uh, looking for I mean, students in the, in the school in, in, in Nigeria. Lecturers are looking for the standard of education to be what it should be. Guess what? Your president is giving out a, a, a million dollar to Afghanistan. Don't you, don't you know that that's where his interest, that's where his heart, that's the kind of person he truly is on the inside? Welcome to Nigeria. These are, these are true reality of what we are experiencing, what is going on and why we need to stand as a country. If there is need, you know, if, if we're going to be staying together, we need to redefine our terms of staying together. So at the end of the day, we are not, you know, uh, pushed aside. Because with the current occurrence, all that is going on, clear indications that we don't have the same values. Now, with what has happened in Sokoto, because nothing particular has been done to the perpetrators of this wickedness, guess what? Some people have found it a new terrain to go ahead and to commit this atrocity and feel it's okay. They said the girl did something, Naomi, on her Facebook. I mean, they say one Naomi wrote something on her Facebook and because of that, they want to carry out perpetration of wickedness. But guess what? Thank God that, you know, the security agencies were able to quickly curtail this arrow of wickedness before it sprays or becomes even more than you can imagine. So when you look at it, there are real cause for concerns in the country. What's our value? What do we believe? What do we stand together for? What do we, what do we agree together on? If there is no agreement, can any two work together except there is agreement? If there is no agreement, there is no need yeah, for them to be together. If not, then the, the terms should, should be redefined. You see, these are the reality of what we are faced with. Leave us a comment. We'll love to hear from you. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. We'd like you to um, please like us, share, subscribe. God bless. Have a fantastic and a lovely day. Bye for now.